Hey everyone, it's Alyssa Corum here with your technical analysis. Today we're looking at how a stock can have multiple buy points when it's in the base building process for a considerable amount of time. Amazon is one of our stocks to watch this week, and even though the tech giant suffered quite a bit of damage during the sell-off of 2018, it has offered investors a chance to buy as it's recovered. And now that shares are nearing all-time highs again, another buying opportunity is presenting itself. So let's take a look at this daily chart here. Now, Amazon sold off as much as 35% during the correction, and as the stock rebounded, it was able to form a base with a 736.51 buy point. And on March 18th, Amazon broke out above that level. Now, volume was only slightly above average that day, but shares are now about 13% above the buy point. And Amazon is currently getting a boost after Warren Buffett said that a money manager at Berkshire Hathaway bought shares of the e-commerce giant. Now, if Amazon can continue to extend its gains, that would help the stock close in on its prior highs, which would be considered a buying opportunity. Now, the stock is about 4% below a potential buy point at 2050-60. And while some might wonder whether Amazon is currently clearing a handle buy point here, this is actually too short to be a proper handle, which would need at least five days to form. Now, investors should keep an eye on Amazon's relative strength line too, that's the blue line on the chart. Now, it has been moving higher as the stock has made its run, but it's still below all-time highs that coincided with the stock's all-time price highs back over here. Now, we also would like to see this relative strength line hitting a new all-time high as the stock breaks out into new high ground because that would be a bullish technical indicator. Now, we also want to look at the fundamentals here. Amazon's annual earnings growth for 2019 projected to hit 35% growth. That's expected to accelerate to 41% in 2020. Now that's the kind of growth we like to see for top growth stocks. Seeing annual earnings growth of 25% or more is ideal, and it's even better to see that growth accelerate. So when you're looking for top stocks to buy, sometimes multiple buying opportunities may present themselves. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alyssa Corum. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.